What is going on guys, we're back with another video. Today it is week 13 in our Buccaneers online user franchise. We may have some spots open, so I'll leave a link in the top line of the description to a Twitter you can DM to potentially get in the league. Once again, no promises. A lot of you guys have been uh, DMing, so you literally never know. You could get in anytime or maybe never. <laughs> it's the harsh realities, but it's not like every single person in the comment section is... DMing and every single person's gonna get in just because there could be a decent amount of people I think you may have to play a game to get in at least show you're decent and you obviously can't be a much easier And we know who you are. That was uh, one hell of an intro, huh boys? Uh, it's fine because it's a game versus the Jags a game where we can't tell if we're gonna win or not because a The Jaguars are not the same Jaguars you would expect to see and that's not really a good thing kinda a lot of draft picks, I will say. A lot of draft picks. Traded Jalen Ramsey for two firsts, I believe, and Dante Pettis, which is a pretty decent trade. Honestly, can't really argue either side. Oh, that's a touch on a shark. I hate that man. Um, can't really argue. I mean, both sides won the trade. Jalen, super expensive. One-on-one, -on -one, Mike. Come on, show up. Come on. Super expensive, but not even just super expensive, but... That's some pretty good value. You know, Dante Pettis is superstar development. What a catch by Miller. How? Superstar development now. After uh, getting his uh, scenario, we even had him on our 49ers franchise get a scenario. Deep shot. Jesse James finally showing up. Jesse in for the score from 59 yards out. We barely got that. I honestly thought he was going to go for the user there. That's why I hesitated so damn much. And here on third and five underneath. Come on. Levante. I'm really worried about Levante regressing, by the way. It's really scary. Also, no Boye for the uh, the Jaguars. Probably looking to draft a QB, especially with a lesser rating. Well, record. I don't know why I said rating. But we'll see. 7-7. Seven to seven, We get the ball back. Winston, obviously. We think we have our QB of the future. We have him signed to a pretty long deal. Then again, jo you know, Josh Allen trying to make sure we don't have the QB of the future. Literally no one over. We're just going to take a shot inside Thank you, Mike, because finally you show up as an X-Factor. Here goes Ronald Jones finding some room inside. Ronald Jones fighting for about nine yards. There's still some pieces on that defense, but, you know, obviously uh, the DBs lesser than you would expect, and not bad, not bad at all. You know, we're having an okay drive considering. I know, once again, it's not the greatest team in the world because of the trades, but still a very good roster with a good user. And Howard having the best season out of all the receivers by a mile by a mile and uh, I like it here goes Scott Miller a uh, very fortunate animation there seen that a few times gotta love this game just flawless as usual second goal from the 12 yard line six minutes left inside Ronald Jones that's not Ronald Jones that's Peyton Barber I feel like a I feel like a real announcer guy you ever see that where they just completely miss <laughs> it's not even close Winston tries to escape not even close there either I've seen one where they like they call out like a freaking tight end and it's actually like not a tight end which is interesting and like fair enough we can all pretend you know race isn't a thing but like let's be honest like are we actually that blind like no one's gonna be like oh look it's conor mcgregor when freaking mike tyson walks up you know like come on like there's there's being uh ignorant and there's being you know racist there's two different things and look at the play howard chance to run oh he makes a move i really wanted him to score but he didn't it's all right you know it's it's fine it's fine things happen taking a shot deep look at this almost picked off could you like not do that you know we're up by three third and eight from the 39 yard line inside toss yeah, that was to Scott Miller. Kind of didn't go near him, <laughs> unfortunately. He was kind of open, but, you know, he is Scott Miller, so I don't really expect him to catch that regardless. Kind of just, I've been taking more risks, you know? Why not? And here goes Chark. Really catching that? Oh, man, he's so underrated in this game. Like, he's very good in the game, but he's, like, underrated as, like, in the things you could do with him, and that's something you probably shouldn't be able to say to some other man if you, I mean, if that's your thing, but it's not mine, so, yeah. Uh, here, we read the screen with a defensive tackle i believe and then speaking of defensive a defensive back mr jamel dean with the pick and i love that man so i'm glad he got it Woo! good little slick move by scott miller very disappointed in some of the decisions we have this season howard uh oh howard's a fast boy that's my fast boy i love you he's uh easily my favorite receiver on the team no question about it scott miller nope to the outside really 
I did not think uh, you would have picked that on Godwin. But yeah, I'm really disappointed with some of the things we did with the receivers. I think we could have uh, done so much better with uh, Godwin and Scott Miller. And that's a good... You, could you not disrespect me like that, please, next time? Thank you. <laughs> Just threw it to his right as we we're about to leave. So predictable we we're going to leave there. But we had to. You know, it's either give up that or give up way more. Sack, 12-yard loss to the 20, not from the 29 anyways. We're hitting a sack on him. Who is that? Is that Mr. Barrett? I love it because we literally struggle so much on pass rush, so anything helps. Ronald Jones, to start of the second half, is going to have a burner to the 47-yard line. Haven't really been running the ball too, too well as of late. No one really open. Looking for someone, though. Scott Miller, you really got those feet down? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm happy for us, but, like, that really didn't feel like it. Peyton, no, it's not even Peyton Barber. It's Ronald Jones with a sick run from the 25 that's a touchdown. Up 10 now. Interesting uh, spin move animation. Slips off the tackle. Goes to the 42-yard line. Uh, I feel like he has more than just Pettis as a new guy. I don't know. To the inside 49-yard line now. Third and eight. Still anyone's game, obviously. Going to try to get a bait with Cole. And I think we did a really good job. It just didn't happen. Cole, I think it was a smart trade because it really didn't cost as much. But more importantly, I don't know if he's really going to work out. Jamel Dean, we're using DBs now, aren't we? Don't know why I didn't run straight to the right and pick six it, but it is what it is. Two picks for Jamel, one user, one AI on the run. Little throw to Ronald. I don't know why he looks so slow, but he was. Definitely was. Also, this is probably the time in the video where the in-game audio is a little out of sync. Oh, my Lord. Speaking of being in sync, perfect. Bye, bye, bye. You know what I'm saying? That's that's an in sync song. Is that? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm, I almost messed it up. Touchdown to Mike Evans. Trying to get a play there. Could not get the pick. But yeah, the audio in-game would be maybe un in out of sync. And it's because of uh, Sony Vegas, I think. I'm pretty sure I have a fix. So next video, we should not see this. And Ryman, just like, you know, any freestyle genius would. Third and four, what a launch. Almost picked. Kind of got hit stick by our own guy there. But yeah, I think next video and beyond will be fixed. It sucks I'm going to have to do a different way. That's going to take me longer to edit, but it is what it is. Third and 13, now 24 to 7. The game's kind of over. Just going to take a shot deep. A little pushing and shoving. It doesn't really matter, though. That would have clearly ended at 27 to 7. And pressure. Was that Barrett again? No, it's Hayes. Could, like, somebody do that more consistently? Like, could we redo the season and then do that more consistently? I, had, once again, had to leave him. It was, it was too different. I should have probably stayed with him, honestly, because going all the way across the field like that would have been a tougher throw. It is what it is, though. First and 10 to the outside. And guess who? Jamel Dean with his third pick of the game. You don't even understand the happiness we have for this young man. Uh, oh, no, oh, okay. Peyton Barber's got room, apparently. Peyton Barber going to fall down there. But, yeah, Jamel Dean, obviously one of the biggest corners on this team for terms of uh, upgrading. Look at that play. That was sick. Mike Evans gets a first down. Just in terms of, like, you know, potential with how much youth he has and how much speed he has. Lots of potential there. And on second and 18, we actually, I believe, get the first down with Ronald Jones, which does end the game. A little bit of a shorter one today. You know, we kind of kind of took over in the second half. More importantly, caught some pretty lucky animations, which is very rare from us. I mean, really nothing too bad either way from EA, in my opinion. But yeah, it was a good game. Mike Evans, maybe another jump ball thumbnail. We'll see. The man's had a few already. Not really been tested this year. I think we should probably test him more. Maybe we'll do it if we make the playoffs. Maybe we'll start throwing the ball up to him on desperation downs. But regular season, you know I love me some stats. I don't want to throw like 50 picks on the season. We've thrown a few, but I'd like to think about half of them were Winston's fault and half of them were mine. So, you know, we take the blame 50-50 here. That's, you know, a partnership. He's his brain, my conscience, I guess. I don't know. But, of course, Jamel Dean, that was the highlight of the game by far. And Winston, he is chasing MVP. There's a chance. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but he definitely has a shot. The question is, can he get over the, the hump of lack of touchdowns? We've been throwing tons of yards, had tons of plays, but the touchdowns are lacking. A lot do go to the running backs, in fairness. But overall, I don't know. Winston's still going to have an amazing season. That five-year, $121 million deal seems to be worth it. Hopefully that's, you know, ups, holds. Anyways, a little bit of a weird episode. Once again, you know, top line of the description. Check out that Twitter for a chance to join the league, I suppose. And, yeah, that's going to be, uh, you know, almost the playoffs. I think we get a couple more wins. We should make it. 
But we'll see. We have a couple of somewhat tough games coming up. So if you enjoyed the video, maybe like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. But more importantly, hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!